Alright, this is another example using the gradient, and this is something we might do in science. So, if we have a position vector described as x in the x direction plus y in the y direction and z in the z direction, and we have the magnitude of that vector uh, would be just the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, just using the distance formula, then I'm going to take the gradient of that right there. So, remembering that the gradient, I'll just write over here, is equal to the partial with respect to x in the x-hat direction, the partial with respect to y in the y-hat direction, and the partial with respect to z in the z-hat direction. Then I'll take the gradient of that. So del of the magnitude of the position vector is I'm going to just use the chain rule to take the partial derivatives. So on the outside I'm going to have 1 over 2 square roots of this thing. So I have 1 over 2 square roots of x squared plus y squared plus z squared times the derivative of the inside with respect to x, so the partial just 2x times 2x, and each term is going to be the same. So I'll have 2y, the partial with respect to y in the second term, and then the same thing on the bottom, 2 square roots of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And for the third component, this is in the x-hat direction. This is in the y-hat direction. And the third component is in the z-hat direction. I have 2z oh, over 2 square roots of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And this is in the z-hat direction. Now, I can uh, cancel out all my 2s everywhere and rewrite this a little bit differently equal to. So if I use a common denominator and get rid of the twos, on the top I still have x x hat plus y y hat plus z z hat z in the z direction over just the whole thing, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared and that is simply equal to the position vector over the magnitude of the position vector. So r vector over magnitude r, and that is equal to r unit hat. So the gradient of the vector is the unit hat, um, or the gradient of the magnitude of the vector is basically the unit vector. So thank you, and let me know what you want to see next.